I'm about to leave an AirTag at a park for 24 hours in order to get a better idea of how Apple's Find My Network functions in a somewhat true to life scenario. So I really hope at least one Apple user with one of the near billion iPhones, iPads, or Macs walks by so their device can sense my tag over Bluetooth and privately, securely, and silently relay its location back to me in the Find My app. Now this is not some highly scientific test I'm doing here. Best case scenario, we get to see the Find My network in action. And worst case scenario, someone makes off with a free air tag courtesy of one tech mine. And the plan is simple. First, I'll find a place to hide the tag at the park where it is both likely to get some foot traffic and is unlikely to be found. And I chose the park specifically because they aren't always too heavily populated at any given time, like a mall or a stadium. Plus, you know, the pandemic and all. Second, I'll place the tag into lost mode with my phone number in case someone actually does find it and wants to try to get it back to me. Third, I'll turn on notifications so I can be alerted each time if and when the tag is found by a nearby device. And lastly, make sure you stick around because tomorrow we will go back to the park and see if the air tag is still there or if it found a new home. All right, that's enough talking. Let's go to the park. Shoot. Uh, oh. One tag mine. All right, so here we are at a random park and I'm trying to think of where I could hide this air tag because I really don't want it to be found for the purposes of this video. So I'm thinking a bench or maybe a canopy over there that's kind of uh, gated off right now for COVID. The more I think about it, the more I think I'm gonna hide it underneath one of the metal benches on the bleachers over there because that to me seems a little bit more realistic if you're in the stands watching a game for your kid and you're cheering and your keys fall out of your pocket for some reason. And just to be abundantly clear, in case you didn't know, the Find My Network is completely and 100% anonymous and secure. So I will have no idea who's walking by the AirTag, what their phone number is, what their name is, nothing like that. It's gonna report back its location to me privately and securely, and not even the person passing by will know that the AirTag has done that. And I have absolutely no interest in actually tracking an individual person. So. Let's go take a look, see if we can stick it under there. All right, so we got our guinea pig air tag here with some sticky double-sided mounting tape to it that is removable, so should come off no problem unless somebody happens to find it. So uh, I think I'm gonna put it on the middle, one of the middle benches here to give us a nice even radius on both sides for anyone hopefully walking by with an iPhone. So let's do it. All right, let's see. Oh, so there's, there's a metal bar that flat bar that runs across here that feels like it's gonna stick all right that feels pretty solid so unless someone's going crawling under the benches we should get it back tomorrow so cross your fingers guys all right I just got home after the park and we already got our first notification that the tag was found and this happened about uh, five minutes or so after I turn on the notifications toggle when we were leaving the park actually. So uh, yeah, this is boating really well for our test here. It is the middle of a weekday. So, you know, we'll see if around the evening time more people are going to the park after work or something like that. So the tab will remain in lost mode until I decide to turn it off, but I'm gonna leave it that way for the duration of the test. But the notifications, I'll have to re-enable the toggle every time I get a new notification, if and when I do. So as those hopefully come in, I'm gonna wait at least 10 minutes before turning the notification toggle back on, just to add to the random nature of the test. I'll also take a screenshot of every notification that comes in, so we have a grand total at the end, and I'll report back any other findings or insights that I discover. But before we get there, if you think we're gonna get, let's say more than 10 notifications that the tag was found, hit the like button for me, and we'll see if you're right tomorrow. All right, so yesterday was a mix of anxiety, hopefulness, Star Wars. Hope you had a happy Star Wars day, by the way. And now the results are in from our little AirTag test. But first, a couple observations. I discovered even if you are traveling with an unpaired AirTag, you will still receive Apple's safety alert to notify you of its presence, which is part of their anti-stalking features. This happened to me because I removed all my other AirTags from my account for the purposes of this test, but I was still traveling with the one that's on my key ring. So I thought this was a good distinction to make. Even if an unpaired AirTag is with you that's not yours, you may still get that notification. I kept checking on the tag manually throughout the day in the Find My app and was often able to see that its status was updated within the past hour. For instance, this shot that says five minutes ago made me wonder if a baseball team showed up and the shortstop swiped it from the bleachers. Did they? 
It also appears that if the tag hasn't been seen for more than an hour, the verbiage in the Find My app changes to last seen at X time with red text to further call your attention to its status. All right, all right, I'm getting to the real results. In 24 hours, our little guinea pig air tag was discovered by another Apple device, a total of, drum roll please. Really bro? 18 times. If you hit that like button earlier, congrats. And here's a little breakdown for you by day. Most notifications came in on the 4th, a total of 16 for that matter. And you can see there's one at almost every single hour of the day since I dropped the tag off with the last notification coming in at 11.19 p.m. I received the final two notifications the morning of the 5th, the last one being at 9.20 a.m. I don't know about you, but I am really impressed by these results. Now, a few of these times weren't terribly far apart, so they could have potentially been discovered by the same person if they were around long enough. However, based on this, I would guess that the number of times the tag was found would be higher if I didn't have to re-enable the notifications each time. In any case, this gives me a lot of confidence in the Find My Network. Should I lose my stuff? I feel like I'd have a good chance of finding it. But the $29 question still remains. Was I able to recover the AirTag? Did it survive the night being stuck under that bench all alone and cold? Did the tile executive team come and steal it out of spite? Well, see for yourself what happened when I went back. Let's see, here is the bench we left it under. I'm just gonna feel for it here. Uh-oh. We made, oh, there it is. I think that's it. This tape is good stuff. Hey, there it is right there. That's right, my friends, the tag was recovered safe and sound with nary a scratch on it. So all of this really tells me that if you lose an AirTag somewhere not completely remote, the chances of you being alerted to its location seem pretty high. And it's really freaking cool to see the Find My Network do its thing in a secure and private way and deliver on the promise that Apple is making here. The famous, it just works ethos applies here in a near perfect sense of the word. What makes it even more exciting is the fact that Apple has opened up the Find My Network to third party companies for integration into their products. So far, there are two Van Moof e-bikes on the platform, as well as Belkin Soundform Freedom True Wireless Earbuds and the Chipola One Spot Item Finder, with more surely on the way. Just imagine how awesome it will be to have Find My integration baked into everything from wallets to cameras. We may never lose anything again, especially that wallet thing, because the AirTag's a little bit big for slimmer wallets. So let me know what you thought of this video in the comments below. I hope you found this test helpful or at the very least interesting or entertaining. And if you did, please consider liking and hitting that subscribe button to join the One Tech Mind community. And thank you so, so much again for pushing us past a thousand subscribers. I've decided to hold a giveaway to celebrate this awesome milestone. All the details are coming very soon. So make sure you hit the bell as well so you don't miss the announcement and the next videos. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram for additional tech commentary, or if you have any questions or feedback, I'm at Starman on those platforms. And until next time, thanks for listening to my One Tech Mind. <laughs>